Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a walkthrough of English Grammar Recitation Book 1 from Memoria Press. Okay, hey everyone, this is Laura from Home and School. I'm taking you through a flip through today, kind of just walking you through um, what you'd be doing in English grammar recitation. This is book one, so this is third grade. Here's what um, it comes with um, and what's included for English grammar from Memoria Press. Um, you have the flashcards. This is just the book one flashcards, but when you purchase the flashcards, actually, it's a big stack and it's for all five books. So I separated out the book one flashcards that I knew I would need this year. And then I put them on a binder ring that actually matches the color of the book so that I can just see that color and know that that one goes with grammar. And that way it's easy for my son to grab. So these would be the main books you need. You have the English grammar recitation book. This is, has all the grammar rules that you're gonna memorize. Then you have a student workbook, a teacher guide, and then you can also get this Core Skills Language Arts Grade 3 book. So I'll just kind of walk you through each thing. Um, first up, we have English grammar recitation. So this is basically just almost like a catechism of your grammar rules. Um, and it's all the way through book five. So this is this would be used every every year. Um, and this year, so for us, we are in book one. And these are just the rules that we are going to memorize this year. So we're going to be covering sentence, some sentences, rules, and then some basic parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, adjectives and adverbs, and verbs. So that'll be it for this, this full year. Um, it's in like a question answer and format, kind of like a catechism. So you have what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words expressing a complete thought. And then an example, Charlotte is a spider. <clears throat> and that's just kind of how the whole thing's laid out. So this will be used all through during all five books, books one through five. And then <clears throat> I'll show you the student workbook next. So you can see the contents, what it's gonna cover, just like in the recitation book. But we also, you'll see the first unit is all on capitalization. And then we have, we're getting into sentences, nouns, pronouns, adjectives and adverbs, verbs, and then the last unit is all punctuation. So end marks, commas, apostrophes, colons, quotation marks, and such. We have a brief introduction, just kind of introducing you to what this covers and what, what you need to do, some teaching guidelines. I found this very helpful. What's nice is they're not doing the exact same thing every day. Um, it seems very manageable. Um, and they even give you like a suggested five day lesson plan. So the first day of the week, you would cover the new lesson, the new information, do the copy work, do some ex do the exercises in the book. And then day two, you review the recitation, practice it, do a dictation. Day three is the same as day two. And then we move on to day four. We usually do a four day at home school week because fifth day we have co-op so that's the day we would do like the quiz or test for the for the week um so like i said what i like about this is it seems very manageable last year what we were doing it was a big thick book and he had to do two or three pages of workbook exercises every day and at there there came a point um <laughs> halfway through the year was it was a little overwhelming. Um, he was doing the work well, but there's just so many exercises to do all the time. And I was looking for something that would cover things really well, 
um, and, but also just not be so overwhelming for him. Like he likes the fact that he's not going to have to do this book every day. <laughs> you know, he can, he has different books to go between. So on that day where you're doing the exercises, this is kind of what it would look like. It's a two page thing. You're going over the lesson rule. Um, you do the copy work, do some practice exercises. These are the dictations for the other two days. If you and then check off the quiz. You do an oral and as a practice and then do a written quiz. And each lesson is one week. So you go through your capitalization unit. Let me see, hold on. This is the unit review at the end of the unit. So you're reviewing copying down your rules, reviewing some practice, and you do the test at the end of the unit. Then your next unit, unit two, we're going over sentences now. We're gonna get into nouns. And again, at the end of the unit, you have a unit review, go over the recitation, practice a little bit, and you take a test. So it's very straightforward. And it does, it, it does not seem overwhelming at all. Adjectives and adverbs, again, unit review. And it's pretty much laid out like that for the whole, the whole year. And then let's see, we have the last unit is unit five. We're going through punctuation. Here's an example, comma. Yeah, so it's all really laid out the same way. And then you do have the same. This is the unit five review, test for unit five. And then you do have a final review at the end of the year, kind of going over everything. And you do have a final test. So you have an oral part of the test and then a written part of the test too. So that is the student workbook. Let's take a look at the teacher guide. It's gonna be laid out very similarly, um, just with teacher notes, right? So. Again, we have kind of an introduction to the book, the teaching guidelines, the suggested sequence, and then your teacher guide laid out the same way, except it has answers. So you get the idea. Go to the end where the appendix is, Let's see. So it does have the recitation um, actually in the back of the book. We have some capitalization and punctuation style sheets. It's just going kind of over those capitalization and punctuation rules as an appendix for you. And there you go. So the way that this is scheduled during the week, um, I mean, you see that five day suggested schedule. One of the things that you can do on these other days as some extra review is um, some pages in here. Now, Memoria Press in their lesson plans, if you get like their curriculum manual um, or you purchase the individual lesson plans for English grammar recitation online, they have like a downloadable file that you can purchase online to get lesson plans just for this. Um, you'll see in that that the way they schedule it out they will also schedule very specific pages in here that go along with what is being learned in english grammar recitation as um just extra practice so for instance i don't know i got this used so you might see some writing in this <laughs> um so for instance um, if you're working on common nouns and proper nouns, they might schedule this page, right? Um, this is just some good, it's a good solid grammar practice book. Um, it hits all the main parts of speech. It hits sentences, punctuation, capitalization rules, antonyms, homonyms, all those sorts of things. And then in the back, it also has some things, let's see, like um, to do, yeah, so in the back, it also does 
hit some more um, things more like writing. So for instance, choosing words to describe, talking about subject and verb agreement, beginning writing paragraphs. And they do schedule some of these things in as well. Although I do have the writing lesson plans from Memoria Press too, so maybe they're in the writing lesson plans. Um, I have to look, but these are just great things to add into. Like look, they've got book report, compare and contrast paragraphs, opinion paragraph, using a dictionary, using a thesaurus. So yeah, um, this is scheduled in if you get the lesson plans from Memoria Press to go along with English grammar recitation. It tells you what to do what day, what pages to do out of here what day, um, when, when tests are, um, when quizzes are. Um, but if you just got this, you could just kind of follow their five day sequence and I mean, it's a good solid program to hit English grammar. Now, one thing to think about too, is that Memoria Press specifically teaches grammar through teaching Latin. So this is just really to take a lot of those concepts, parts of speech and stuff like that and translate, you know, learn how to do those things in English, <laughs> which is also very important for us, right? Um, so the, the main way they teach grammar, though, is through Latin. Um, and I think if you're going to take advantage of what Memoria Press has to offer, then you should definitely te uh, teach grammar through Latin and use that whole program the way that they, they mean for it to, to be taught. Um, but this is a great program. I love that it's not overwhelming. It feels very manageable and... We'll see, we'll see how this year goes with my with my son. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll be happy to try to answer as best I can. And I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Hopefully we will see you next time. Bye.